Hello folks, welcome to the YouTube world. Today we're going to show you how to <clears throat> actually hook up a little on and off switch uh, from Leviton. It's a 15 amp, 120 volt switch. You'll find two brass contacts on one side and a ground strap or a ground, ground uh, terminal on the opposite side. Uh, let me start off with saying that uh, practice safety when playing with electricity. Make sure your breakers are off. If you got a voltmeter, check it even after the breaker's off. That way you know for sure you've got the correct breaker turned off. Again, I'm no electrician, but I do know how to hook one of these things up. We're going to start off with working with this wire here. I found some old used wire that we had stashed in the back of the warehouse, but uh, it'll work good for, for our, our little video here. This is Encore Wire Corporation 12-2 wire. What that means is that it's 12-2 means it's two wires that you're going to use and then you're going to have a ground. They make 12-3, 12-2, 14-2, 14-3, many different types of wires, but uh, that's not important in this video. What's important is how to hook this old switch up. All right. You're going to start out, what we're going to try to achieve is this white wire right here is always neutral. Or from what I know, electricity is always neutral, unless you got them hooked up wrong or someone else has them hooked up wrong. Uh, when we refer to the bus bar, we mean there's an aluminum bar in the, on the bottom of the box or to the right hand side or to the left hand side. That's going to be the bus bar. Uh, the actual copper wire is going to go back to that and your neutral wire is going to go back to that. This one here is what we're going to be tying into this part of the switch. The power coming in versus power going out. If you wire it wrong, you'll see the switch will turn on in the off position or off in the old position. It's, it's going to, you'll know right away when you hit flip that switch. We start out with actually uh, taking a piece of wire, as you see here, regular wire. We'll trim it back, take a utility knife, of course. We'll trim this thing back real lightly. You don't want to cut it in there too deep because if you do, you'll cut the insulation on the actual inside wires. Peel it back, you're going to find a little piece of cardboard paper or it's like a protector inside there. Peel it down, grab you some diagonals or some cutters or whatever you have that's available. Cut that stuff off. We're already making a mess. We're good at this stuff, right? All right, now you've got all three wires exposed. Now, I've already got this one trimmed out, and I've got that one trimmed out. So we're going to assume that this wire here coming in to this end of the switch, or this end makes, really makes it easier to do it this way, coming in is going to be the power from the, the breaker box. And then we're going to assume that this wire on the opposite end is going to the light. Make it pretty simple here. Yeah, we didn't have it flipped over. Somebody gonna say something out there on YouTube. I know it, but it's all right. We'll get the point over. Now you'll come in here and you'll actually grab you some needle nose. And uh, the first thing you want to do is actually, well, that ain't correct either. Let me grab you some strippers. Let's strip these wires. Cut them back long enough because you're gonna have to actually work with this wire, so you're going to need some room there. Oh, let's see, the old pliers are failing me now. Go get it. There we go, folks. And then strip the other one back, too. And make sure you always use a solid strand wire when you're working with these, uh, these switches. And let me also mention, you can tie them in here and here, but if you're trying to jump it from this switch to another switch, you see these little holes right here? There's one right there, and there's one right there. You can jump it from this wire, uh, put a wire in here, same wire we're working with, jump it over to another switch. Okay, back to where we was headed here. You got the white wire stripped, and this is the extension of the power coming in from the breaker box. Now we're going on to the other side. Let's strip those two wires. Here we go, folks. Hang with me, I'm gonna get there. I'm an old fart, but I'll get there. Knowledge is something you can't really pay for in this world, I guess you could say. And everybody knows everything out there nowadays, or they say they do, right? 
Hell, I'm almost 60 years old and I'm still learning things. YouTube has been a great help for me. All right, now we got these stripped out. So you see we got three coming in and three coming out. So the first thing I would do, let's concentrate on the three wires coming in from the breaker box. Let's tie one of these in right here. We'll get our needle nose and it's going to be the black wire of course. And let's see, let's bend this thing over kind of like a half U or there you go like you see there. And put this on here. And let's get it in there, let's get it in there. Sometimes you got to make that little loop just right or else it won't fit around that screw. That's been the most difficult for me playing with wires. Can you imagine me playing with a live wire? All right, you see how I got that in there? Bring that old wire out to, to the side. Get you a Phillips head screwdriver or a flat tip. The screw's made from both ways. And tighten that baby down real tight so it can't come out. It's real important to keep it real tight. <clears throat> okay, now let's say we're working on the, the other side, going to the light. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to bend that old wire over there. And we're going to hook it right up. See how I put it on there where you're turning the nut or the screw more like clockwise so it won't unpull that, that pull that wire out of there. So you're going to make sure you got that thing on this, on this way here. And I like to kind of take my needle nose and kind of walk that wire down in there a little bit. Like that, see? And then come over here and tighten that baby bag down. Alright. Now we got that wire. This is coming in from the breaker. This is going out to the light. Hope y'all can see that. I'll, I'll be moving over. Coming in from the breaker. Going out to the light. Or whatever you're going to try to power up. Alright. Your neutral wire, folks. These two white wires. We'll get this bent around here so it's a little easier. Maybe y'all see a little bit better. Let me organize this stuff so my wife say, I say organize, my wife say, what? You ain't organized. No, I'm not. <laughs> Alright. Hope that makes it a little easier for you to see. Well, we're gonna bend it one more time. Alright, all you're gonna do with these two wires here is take your pair of pliers. And just kind of spin them around. I don't have any the correct pliers to do this. But just spin them around where they kind of interlock. And I mean, they really should be wrapped around there, you know, pretty, pretty good. I'm not going to be able to achieve that goal without the correct pliers. I need some of them old box end pliers, you know. But what we'll do is, for the purpose of this video, we're going to leave them straight. But I'm sure, you know, and put a wire nut on them. But I'm sure you get the point. Make sure them wires are really wrapped together tight. Remember, you're dealing with electricity. This stuff ain't no joke. And always, always, always make sure you got that breaker up before you start playing with this stuff. Okay, now you see it. We got the white wire tied together. This is the power coming in. This is going to the light. You got the black wire coming in. And then it goes out to the light. Like I said, if you put this in, and you find out, well, you turn it on and it's the wrong way, then you know you got these two wires backwards. Just switch them back around. All right. Now then what we got left is the ground wire, right? Yep, you're the winner. All right, a little simple solution for that is they make a terminal like this, I mean a, a cap like this, a cover, wire nut. There's all kinds of people call them different things, but I call them caps but they're really terminal nuts. They make a green one that has a hole in it like you see right here. That allows that ground strap or ground rod or ground copper tubing pipe, whatever you want to call it, to go through it. And then you can tighten it around the two wires. I'll show you how that's done in just a minute. But I didn't have the luxury of having one of them green, you know, grounding wire nuts. So I made my own. I took this old red one here. And I just drilled me a hole in the center of it. Now what that's going to allow me to do, you know, you need a ground wire coming over this side. And it's really hard to take two of these and bend them and get them on that one little old, old screw over there. 
So what you do is you go on the longer side of this thing and you run, see how it went right through that cap? And then you put those two together and you should wrap them a little bit, but like I said, for the purpose of the video, just to show you to save some time, run that thing down there. Oh, let's get it sticking out there a little bit more. But you're gonna need a little bit of room there. Okay, there we go, that might work. Now you see, you got it sticking out there. We're gonna tighten that old wire in there. See how convenient that made it? Being that you don't have a proper wire nut, you make your own. All right, so now we got the ground wire tied together. We got the neutral, and I guess you call this the collar. That's what's gonna take care of the current to and out on that switch right there. Now then, one of the last things we got to do, and you know I really should have ran these up underneath here, and then I would have it would have made it a whole lot easier for me. But again, for the purpose of the video, we'll make it work. Bend this thing over just like we did on the other ones. Set it right there on that copper. Copper lug. I need to back that baby out some more, huh? Hot doggy look at there, folks. If you got the chance, try to close it up some, just like we did right there. And then snug that baby up. You want good ground, man. You know, electricity likes a good ground. If it ain't grounded and somebody grabs it with some wet feet, boy, hello, 4th of July. <clears throat> okay, to recap what we did, power in from the breaker. We tied the two white wires together, which are neutral wires, going out to the light. We tied in the black wire coming in from the breaker to one side of the switch, tied the outside one going to the light to the opposite side of the switch, and then we fought with the ground wire. Ground wire coming in, ground wire going out. All you need to do is make sure they're tied together and very tight. Made our homemade wire right there and it works good. Next thing you do is organize this where you want it in the box. Of course, we ain't got a box here, but you want to bend these wires around. And as you're bending them, make sure you got your nuts on there good. Put it all back in place. Didn't know I ain't gonna be able to do that because I ain't got no box. But and then turn your breaker on. Yeah, we got a voltmeter. You can check it, but I'm pretty sure you won't have any problems with working. The worst thing, worst case scenario, you might have these two backwards. If it works vice versa, then what it should just switch them two wires back around. Folks, there you go, turn your switch on. Of course, we ain't got no live power going to it. We ain't got a light bulb on the other end, so how are you gonna know this really works? Ah, it works, trust me. Anyhow, folks, that's a basic procedure for installing a 15 amp Leviton 120 volt switch on your wall to power up your lights or other uh, projects you might have going. Folks, I know this is not one of the higher rated top notch videos you're gonna see out there in YouTube land. But uh, you know I try to create videos sometimes. There may be a few out there already, but I try to create a video that I know in one form or fashion has helped me at some point in my life. And uh, I'm hoping that this will help somebody. Uh, I'm also hoping that you hit the like and subscribe button. We, need, we do need all the help we can get with the likes and subscribes as YouTube is a tough world. It's full of a lot of serious animals out there that make a living doing this. Uh, we try to make a few dollars here and there to feed the dogs. We, we shelter dogs and we rescue dogs and uh, animals are our passion. So, man, please hit the like and subscribe button. Let's give them a better life as well. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it comment section below let us know what you think uh, again we know this is not some corporate video but uh, sometimes I don't even like watching them I like to support the smaller guys again thanks for watching y'all have a great evening